Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the last episode, we worked on getting the main rail line that we currently have, the only passenger rail line that we have, um, finished. So it is now double-tracked all the way. The, um, the actual lines have been merged, the trains have been transferred, and everything is now running. And the only thing we should have to worry about with this particular line for the time being, for the foreseeable future, is going to be to upgrade the trains and possibly even add more trains as passenger demand requires. So, that's good. So what we're now working on is getting a new passenger train line up and running to continue to ramp up our profit so that we can, can accelerate construction on this map. So, the plan, currently, is to go from Townsville to Kithrop to Valroyo with a train line. And then transfer our bus line to be a Insomnia Duckburg Valroyo line at that point. And then ultimately, there's going to be a Kithrop to Toontown to Kakariko Village train that we're going to do eventually. And then. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll figure things out from there. And then I think we're just going to continue down this corridor. So then we'll go Kakariko Village, Garth, Gradania, then Atlantis, and Eridanus, Shangri-La, Bastok. All the way down this particular corridor to get all the way across the map. It's going to be the, the ultimate plan. Well, not ultimate plan, but it's going to be kind of what the plan is moving forward for the foreseeable future. So, back to Townsville. We got ourselves a passenger station uh, laid out, and it doesn't cover enough of the city. So, what I was planning on doing was setting up a very small local tram line, a two-station tram line, or two stop. And we're going to do that here, I think. We're going to put our stop there. I'm going to make this a double sided stop. And then we're going to come over here somewhere and make a stop there. Because then that should be in catchment. Yep, that's definitely going to be in catchment. So we're going to need some electrified tram lines. There. And I don't think this tram is going to make any money, but it's going to be useful for making sure that this passenger station can get the maximum Let's see, it's going to be this kind of pink color. This is going to be tram. This is Toontown, right? No, Townsville. All right, yeah, Townsville. There you go. And we're going to need our depot here, somewhere where there's actually tram track. Um, hmm. No, that's not going to work there. It's 
probably gonna have to be right next door to these uh, these houses. All right, we're gonna buy a couple trams. Um, two. We're gonna get it running, um, even though it probably isn't a good idea to do that just yet. Because it's not gonna make any money. In fact, it's gonna cost us a bit. Hey, I made 200k last year. Yep, I do have like 20 million dollars more alone I can take, but I'd rather not. So. Geez, your trams are costing us 50k. But again, that cost is going to make this work. Hopefully. We're getting 86 to 96 passengers. They just need to make some deliveries. Um, because we need some money. Alright. So the next thing we're going to need to do is we need to come down here. And we're going to have to sort out where the station is going to be for this. And I'm thinking that trying to actually put the station in town is not going to work. Um, we're actually probably going to want the station down here. And then we're going to run trams into town and then out to the train station for our passengers to use. So let's get this thing in place, and then we'll figure out the, the tram situation when we get there. Alright, so this is this is hilly. This is really hilly. Okay. Alright, we're going to want a through station. It needs to be 200 meters platform length. We want two tracks. Um... I guess we're going with 1920 era designs, even though it's not quite there yet. Um, end street connections? No. I don't think we're needing curvature. Unable to align terrain. Uh, collision. Oh, there is a spot in there where it will work. Actually, we might need to curve the track. The the station a bit. At least on that approach on that side. 530k. That sounds like it'll work. I just need a train to deliver some passengers. And then we will have the money. There we go. Now, unable to align terrain. Okay. Unable to align terrain. Nope, it does not like me doing that. Okay. That's fine. That's that's fine. Um Just trying to decide how this is going to work. Well, let's not put any tram track on there just yet. I 
is I could I could do a tram loop here and then bring the trams out to there and bring them around there. That wouldn't be impossible. I should replace all this road. Um, but we do actually have some residents over here. I would like to encourage the, the town to grow a little bit more. So if I build in some roads myself, it might do just that. Okay, that will work. It just will be limited by money. Do we have a train about to deliver passengers? We do. All right, let's. Let's get it there. There we are. There's some money. Construction not possible. Oh, the AI, you stinker. Too much slope. Because you went in here and you did something silly. There you go. No. Don't do that. At least not yet anyway. Too much slope. Yeah, because it's going to be... All right, now if the AI wants to do, AI wants to do something, then it can do it. All right. So I think I see what our tram loop is going to be here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, the track in. Let's see, what's the speed? 20 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour. Construction not possible. Construction not possible. I think I can make that construction possible. Can we, can we, like, not do that? Yeah, there we go. Collision. kind of come straight out of there like that and then um, collision collision Man, I know we can put that kind of wiggle in there but I really don't want to put that wiggle in there that's severe of a wiggle Uh, 
and this is suddenly turning into a far... It is not possible for me to destroy that. There we go. Now it is. Of all the things... Just need a delivery of something. Trying to do this without taking out more loan, if at all possible. got a big load of passengers because that's a lot of negative okay and that's a lot of stuff we just unlocked okay great western stuff and a bunch of uh, passenger cars very nice All right, let's get this in. Got it. Okay, so we have a stop here, which we can use. And so let's go ahead and see where else are we gonna wanna put stops. How much of the area does this cover? most of it but we are gonna need another set of stops out here I don't think that actually covered what we needed to cover yeah it needs to cover that so there we'll need one up there and one out here somewhere. I don't think we needed to double all of those. But it's alright. And then we need a set of stops out here. And then this is the Kithrop tram. We're just gonna go with this light pink. All right, there. To there. To there. To there. To there. And now to there again. Perfect. Depots. Put it out here where it's going to be relatively cheap. There you go. And let's see how many of the actual trams are we going to be able to buy? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go with that. Uh, set line for Kithrop and go for it.
Let's start laying track. And for this, I think I am going to go ahead and borrow two million to get this track laid in. We are going to have to get across this road. I want to try and keep this as level as I can. I mean, some upward slope is not going to be terrible. Let's get my contours on so I can see. Uh, it's it's going to be all uphill, so there's not a lot I can do about it. But we're going to follow this road as close as closely as I can, but not too close because I'm going to need to get another another track in here. Pretty steep climb here. There is the station. So we are gonna have to kind of wiggle a little bit here, follow that contour, and then bring it along and into the station. There, okay. So there's a little bit of a wiggle in the, st in the line there. But that's okay. All right. And I am going to want to get a train moving on this sooner rather than later. And then we will collision. Oh, wow. You've reached the station. There it is. And there you go. And I will put the signals on here because... This is probably a good idea. Just eyeball in some moving blocks. And station approach, which... Will it let me diamond this? That's going to be the question. Too much slope. Yeah, but let me do it that way. Alright, whatever. I'll take it. All right, so we're going to need a depot, and I want to do that in a relatively flat area. Right here looks good. Oh, that's going to be all kinds of ugly. Alright, let's see if I can get it up here and parallel the line of the track for a little bit. And then do our merge across, our double slip junction.
And then we have Let's block this off. There we go. And let's set the line. So this is going to be train passengers, which are going to be these blue colors. Oh, I need to colorize those, uh, those trams. All right. This will be train passenger. Townsville. Townsville. TWV. Townsville. Yeah, okay. To. Yes. Uh, is it Kier? That's what I was calling that? I think so. Yep, and then when we add Valroyo to that, we'll just extend the line, and we'll add trains. I'm probably going to another 2 million in loans. To buy the train. Alright, let's see, what are we going to put on here? It's going to need some torque. It's going to need some tractive effort. We've got the Canadian Pacific. Oh, man, that's almost $2 million for the local alone. $22,481 foot-pounds. Great Western, $3.3 million on the... All right, well, we're going to pause it. I'm going to go ahead and just borrow everything I can. Borrow all of it. There you go. I think that's our train. Thirty-five thousand foot-pounds, sixty miles an hour. That's pretty good. Oh, oh forty-three thousand foot-pounds, fifty miles an hour. Thirty-three thousand, thirty-eight thousand, thirty-five thousand. I guess we'll go with the heavy consolidation. Yeah, that's going to be really guiding our, our our locomotive selection here is just how much how much torque they can produce because they're going to be going up and down hills. Um, Fifty miles an hour that that should be fine. All right, heavy consolidation. We'll throw you on there. Let's see what we can do for wagons. I don't think we're going to go crazy for wagons right now. These are Prussian uh, passenger cars. Sixty-three thousand pounds. One hundred thirty-three thousand. Thirty-three thousand. Uh. I think we're going to go with some of these Midland Railway Clarestories because um, they're light. 
and they hold 12 passengers, so let's put three of them on there for now. And then let's put this on the line. And then let's go ahead and repay as much of the loan as we can. And there we go. It's probably going to be... I, mean, I did say that the vehicles on here are color, right? No, apparently I did not. There we go. One train for the moment. Repay loan. So that should start building demand with hopefully minimal cost out of the gate. we go. And uh, starting to see passengers down here might take a bit. Alright, we already have someone on the tram. Are waiting for the tram. Hey, we've already got some people living up here. That is exactly what we want. That is exactly what we want. Is for the, the town to grow. We've got some AI development going on down there. Again, good. Good. All right, well, we're at the end of the episode. We got ourselves a new train running, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, but for now, we'll end it here. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.